What day is it? I forget. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally worked through my lunch, but no big deal. Uh, I'm going to make a quick lunch now. My usual spicy noodles. So, first step, pull the hair back so you don't catch it on fire on your gas stove. You know, I just realized a flaw in my plan already to videograph this. Uh, so first, get a pot, water in it, put it on the stove. Cover it. Cover it so it'll boil faster. Get your tongs ready, you're gonna need those. Get a bowl. See, this is where I realized the problem. Can't see bowl. We'll have to rearrange my perfect, precise video setup. So, oops. I got a tablespoon chopsticks. The chopsticks are for eating it, not for making it. Let's see if we move it back if we can see things just that little bit better. I think so. You can kind of see my bowl. Set the chopsticks aside. Is that what's not your, your cream crackers? You don't need those right now? No. Um, so, this is really how, um, this is what I make most days. Now, I usually make it on the other side, but you can't see over there because the pot's in the way. So, a little bit of this chicken stock. Not necessary, but delicious. Um, that was a quarter teaspoon. This is my guess. I'm not measuring it. And then, a little bit of MSG. You can't see it. Doesn't matter. That goes in. Tiny bit of garlic powder. And some Sichuan pepper powder. So this, I make myself, you just take Sichuan peppercorns, toast them, and then mortar and pestle them. It's supposed to be like a quarter teaspoon. I just put however much I feel like. Uh, I like to add a splash of this Maggie because some MSG is good. More MSG must be better. Some of my homemade chili oil. A few store bought. Oh man, I just had an idea. Maybe I'll knock this up a notch. So I stir it to make sure that when I get scoops of it, I'm getting the goodies. And I'll put two tablespoons full. And sometimes if I feel saucy, a little bit more, but you know what, I won't take it because I'm gonna do this other thing with it quickly. Then, where are you? I forgot a bottle. Then a tablespoon of light soy sauce. I'll be honest, I'm almost out of this. Sometimes I use regular. I wouldn't use dark or aged. I tried that once, didn't like it. Some Chanking black vinegar. Dang it, Maria, really? How did that happen? The lid just went in there. Let me wash the lid. Can't believe that nonsense. Supposed to use not a lot of the black vinegar, but I like vinegar, so I add some teaspoon ish, less than a full tablespoon. Then you uh, want this is some Sichuan peppercorn oil. I add a little of this, quarter teaspoon. Then a teaspoon of sesame oil. I like this brand. 
Kadoya. Now look, if you're feeling special, you can add chopped minced ginger, you could add actual garlic, but I don't usually feel special. I usually feel like I need to eat. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of this ground ginger and put that in, because why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing that's a good ingredient in here, bacon fat. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't use the chicken bouillon if I was using bacon fat. I'm going to use two teaspoons of it. Okay, so that is done. Then we get our little mortar and pestle and some peanuts. Roasted and unsalted. And I put exactly this much in, which is to say some amount that I never pay attention to, and I just grab as much as I feel like. Then I smash them. I'm not trying to make powder or peanut butter. Just slightly smaller chunks. Mm. Then I take some sesame seeds, toasted, and sprinkle them in here. I don't know how much I put, y'all. Half a teaspoon. Fine. This will go on at the end. So sometimes what I like to do is be a little bit saucy and put that much Sichuan peppercorn in there as it goes on top because that will change the flavor a little bit. Give it a punch. Then the next step is put away the dishes that you washed earlier. while you wait for the water to boil. Maybe go check your email. Ooh, realize that you haven't had any water. You should really pour some. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Let's pause you so that I can fizz up my water and we'll wait for the water to, other water to boil and we'll be back. Welcome back. Eat my water. Uh, it, it actually just was long enough for me to like do the water and then it was boiling. So you were only paused for a minute at most. Lid off. Here's the noodles I use. They're fresh ish. And how many I use depends on how fatty I'm feeling. So this is probably at least two servings of noodles. But I'm hungry. And we got a shot later today. So I heresy break them in half. Kitchen timer, two and a half minutes. I don't usually cook all of them. I feel like they started putting them in bigger bundles. So what I'll do is I'll break them in half and cook half. So I break them in half and leave half in here. 
I'm gonna use that for next time. We're feeling like hungry right now. But got some good water. Did I show you what I'm going to put on top? I don't think I did. So another thing you could add to this, if you wanted to, is a little bit of sugar. Because I think that's partly what makes this stuff so good. I should start using it. I have chili with black bean. And I have another jar. So. Oh, that's her reason. What are you? Buy chili and oil. We have different ingredients here. This is spicy chili crisp. This is my true love. I also have fried chili and oil. I should use that up too. So other ways that you can mix this up, you could put peanut butter in there, or if you have Chinese style sesame paste, not tahini. But like this stuff that looks like peanut butter. You could add a teaspoon of that. The other thing I do sometimes is Put some baby bok choy in here. Cook it for, well, honestly, it depends how you like your bok choy. So, that's that. Take the noodles. Just pull them out with tongs, y'all. So much easier, and I'll show you why you wanna do that. Now, I eat this. This will be the dish I have eaten the most this year and possibly last year. I eat this in the summer too. However, it's really nice. And then add the water. How much? As much as you feel like. I, I like it so the noodles are not fully like covered up. And then take your your stuff, sprinkle it on top. Use your clean chopsticks. And then take a little bit of this if you want. If you're just gonna be extra, I'm taking a teaspoon. <laughs> Mm. Sometimes I just eat like teaspoons of this. And there you go. So that's spicy noodles my way. It's a bit like the recipe for Xiaomian that I found on my favorite China Sichuan cooking site. But their version is better and slightly more work. So this whole thing took like 15 minutes. Uh, easier for me during lunchtime. Now, I gotta eat. Thanks for hanging out. Make your own noodles. <laughs>